ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, welcome. Today, we're going to ask the question, the question that you're all wondering, the Kate question. Where is Kate Middleton? We're gonna do an unhinged deep dive into that very question. This is not gonna be presented in any particular order. It is literally just me scouring the internet and then bringing together everything that I have found because I think it is something weird. I do think that perhaps something sinister is going on here. If you haven't seen somebody like Kate, a member of the royal family who's very public, uh, if she hasn't been seen since December, that's, a, I think, it's kind of sinister. People want to know. And then all the weird stuff that has happened has only added to the sus levels here. I think everybody knows that. And where are her children? Has anyone seen her children? Um, that's a question we have. A lot of people believe that she has some kind of medical issue. Uh, she did get the Fauci ouchy, as far as I understand. So let's just go ahead and get into it. <laughs> uh, let's start with the question where is Kate? She has not been seen publicly since December of 2023. This is a picture from the last time she was seen. She's there in the uh, blue Alexander McQueen outfit with William and her kids. And this is the last time she has been seen. Now, there were ambulance what appeared to be an ambulance with a kind of motorcade that was seen. And we should note that there's been health issues announced with King Charles. He has um, cancer. So he goes into the hospital the same time Kate goes in for this alleged planned abdominal surgery, like whatever that means. So let's go to the browser. We're going to look at a couple of things before we get into some of the other crazy stuff that has happened. I just wanted to put a little bit of a backdrop out there for you guys, though. Uh, this is a little um, short video putting together sort of like a, a brief timeline of her disappearance. Internet. Where is Kate Middleton? Now, this is easy to dismiss as some sort of tinfoil hat conspiracy, but there what? Why would it? Why is everything easy to dismiss like this? There are some very strange elements of this story, particularly when you look at the timeline of dates. So let's go back in time and do that. Okay, so there he's now going to go back and just kind of present. And it, this is, you know, you can't really argue with it. It's literally just presenting the documenting events as they happened. And then you can put together yourself, like you can start asking yourself what's going on here. 12th of September, 2023, Kate Middleton reveals a finger injury. So she's got her, She, you can see that she's got bandages on her finger, on both fingers. And she's also, I believe at this time, debuting a new hairstyle where she got these like chestnut highlights or something. Which she claimed happened when she was trampolining with her kids. Innocent enough. Then, three weeks later, on the 5th of October, Kate is pictured with two fingers still bandaged together. What? Hold up. That's crazy. Three weeks later, and she still hasn't healed from a trampoline injury? I don't know, guys. That could be weird. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I, I don't think if you sprain your finger... I mean, it usually... Depending on what kind of sprain, strain or sprain it is, it, it usually doesn't take that long to heal. Seems like it must have been a pretty rough trampolining injury. Yeah. On the 22nd of December, Wills and Kate announced an official trip to Italy, scheduled for early 2024. So this is important for the timeline because if she had this, quote, planned abdominal surgery, then why would she plan it for the same time they're planning their trip to Italy, which was also planned. There's something strange about that. Now, if you're planning major surgery of any kind for early 2024, it seems unlikely that you would also announce a trip to Italy at the same time. Then, December... Yep, 
that seems a little bit sus. This is the last time, this is video from the last time she was seen. Uh, the picture I showed you earlier, that's from Christmas of 2023 and we're now into almost april of 2024 december 25 christmas day 2023 the last verified public appearance of kate middleton and also of the three children everyone looks happy and healthy december 28 three days later so there here is the ambulances and the apparent motorcade an ambulance with police escort police is escort. seen flying out of sandringham where the royal family was spending Christmas. There was no statement from the royals as to what that was about. Then, January 17, Concerning. 2024. The Princess of Wales' condition potentially more serious admitted to this London private hospital on Tuesday, undergoing... Planned abdominal surgery. So that's just very strange in the timeline. Isn't it? Very concerning. Planned abdominal surgery described as successful. At this stage, the palace won. So if this is successful, it then how long would it reasonably take to recover? We don't know what kind of surgery she's had. They're vague and that's her personal health is her personal health. We're not going to speculate on what procedure she had done or anything like that. We're just going to note what they are saying and the timeline here. Won't say exactly why the princess required surgery, choosing to keep her diagnosis private, but she is likely to stay in hospital for up to two weeks. All her engagements expected to be canceled until after Easter. It's announced that Kate Middleton is recovering in a hospital called the London Clinic. Should be noted also that there was never any, um, there's no pictures of her being admitted into the hospital. There's no pictures of her exiting the hospital. Prince Charles goes, or sorry, King Charles, still not used to that. Oh my goodness. He goes into the hospital during the same time she is in there. And we do have pictures of him, I believe, going in and leaving. So that's a little strange, right? Where are the pictures of her going in or out? Why wouldn't the British press be getting that? if they're going to get it for the king, right? So it could be something going on where, like, they want to distract from the health problems of King Charles. So maybe they are adding fuel to the speculation about Kate because it takes away from that. Who knows? There could be a variety of reasons for the, the strangeness of what is going on here. Now, during those two weeks, there are no reports of visits from her parents, her siblings, or her children. On also weird. If you're in the hospital and you're going to be in the hospital for that long, you would expect, especially your young children, that they would want to come visit you. They'd want to come see you, make sure that you're doing all right, want to spend time with you, give you a hug. The, um, maybe you... They, it wouldn't be appropriate if her medical condition was worse than they are telling us. On January 18th, the day after surgery, Prince William visits the London Clinic. It was the first and last time he was known to visit, where she was allegedly in the clinic for another two weeks. On January... Little weird, isn't it? Hmm. Why didn't he visit her more than once? And why didn't he bring the kids? Hmm. 24. UK papers report that the inner circle of the Waleses were shocked to hear of Kate's surgery and that they weren't aware of any health issues. Okay, so they are claiming they didn't know. So again, if this was planned, how come they weren't made aware of it? And it just gets weirder from there. We're going to move on. I just... <laughs> I'm sorry, we do have some memes here that I thought was a little funny. Um, too real, like, where is she? If they can release an image of King Philip like this, I'm sure they can release an image of Kate being alive and well. Uh, this picture is so creepy. I, Yeah, that it's one of the things that will haunt your dreams. We'll just say that. Um, now, speculation starts coming out about uh, Prince William having an affair with a woman who looks very similar to Kate Middleton, but not as attractive. And it says, 
I would disappear too if my bald husband cheated on me with someone who looked exactly like me but donkier. <laughs> oh my goodness, this is uh, Rose um, Hanbury or something. We'll get into it. We'll get into it. A uh, friend of Kate and William. Now, shout out to Brianna Luca who made a presentation with a timeline that we're going to go ahead and look at now. Where is Princess Catherine? Yes, I know we're supposed to be calling her, uh, oh, we, sh we should only be saying Catherine, Princess of Wales, instead of calling her Kate Middleton. But guys, like, honestly, who cares about stuff like that? All right, so let's go ahead and get into this. Important notes before we begin. The British press does not usually report negative things on the Prince and Princess of Wales. The British press is in the pocket of the royal family because they do not want to risk losing access. I think that's uh, pro probably fair to say. It's been rumored the communications team of the royal family will leak stories to the press about certain members of the family to distract from other me members. Uh, Megan's stories when Prince Andrew was revealed as one of you-know-who's friends, the financier who did not yeet himself, Mr. Jeffrey. You all know. King Charles' cancer diagnosis was announced at the same time as Kate's surgery. When it comes to the royals, British media cannot be trusted. And that is really fair to say. By the way, I will include the links to this in the video description so you guys can look at this uh, document on your own, the slideshow here. Uh, and again, thank you to Brianna for taking the time and putting this together and making it available for people. I think she's got a really good point here. And keep this in mind because when we get to later on in the, in the deep dive we're doing here, there's going to be a story that once again is quite, there's going to be several questionable things coming out in the media. And um, so just keep this in mind that the media is in the pocket of the royals in many ways. So now we get into the timeline. Uh, Catherine Middleton, Princess of Wales, was last seen publicly on Christmas 2023. The pictures that we showed when she walked in the royal family's annual Christmas parade at uh, Sandringham. I hope I'm saying that right. The family's quote-unquote country home. Uh, Kensington Palace note is William and Kate's team. So if you hear something coming from them, that is officially coming from their team. Uh, on December 28th, 2023, there was a royal motorcade rushing to King Edward's Hospital at 6.30 p.m. One of them was Prince William's Audi. So that's an important detail. On January 17th, 2024, Kensington Palace released a statement not on formal letterhead with the date that the princess was uh, to be in the hospital for 10 to 14 days. She was not expected to return to royal duties until okay. after Easter. That is coming up here, guys. We are March 18th right now when this video is being recorded. And so we're just uh, about under two weeks away from that. And they're still saying as of today that she will be um, returning to her regular duties uh, at that same timeline, they're still maintaining uh, Easter is when she will return. Um, the timeline now. January 29, Kensington Palace, that's William and Kate's team, says Kate will return home to Windsor Castle to continue her recovery. Quote, she is making good progress, Kensington Palace said in a statement. February 7th, Prince William makes his first appearance since Kate's surgery. Uh, at a royal, and it got cut off, uh, William's grandfather then passed away, and the memorial was on February 27th, which he abruptly pulled out of 45 minutes before the service starts. This is where rumors started to pick up. So uh, I do want to say at the first thing, his first appearance that he makes since Kate's surgery on the 7th, I believe he showed up to an event and he was acting kind of weird. Like people said he was kind of like moving back and forth. Uh, it could, like there's obviously something wrong. Could just be the stress of having your wife in the hospital while your, your dad has gotten a cancer diagnosis and you've got 
the media hounding you. But again, something to note, that behavior. On February 29th, Kensington Palace makes another statement. Quote, Kensington Palace made it clear in January the timeline of the princess's recovery and we'd only be providing significant updates. The guidance stands that signaling no other statements will be made and Easter is still the timeline for her to return to her duties. Now, this is the actual statement that they put out. Um, you can see it yourself. Uh, now, continuing, March 4, TMZ releases a photo of Kate and her mother, Carol, in the car. This is the first time she is seen since Christmas. It is said Kensington Palace warned and threatened British tabloids to not publish those photographs. Uh, after March 4th until Photoshop gate, the hashtag where is Kate movement gains a lot of momentum. It's accidentally revealed March 5th on the Royal Family website. Kate would be attending Trooping of the Color on June 8th, an annual celebration in the UK, and it was quickly removed. On March 6th, a quote source for Prince William spoke to People magazine and said his focus is on his work and not on social media about the rumors and claims. So here is that picture. Um, and let me bring it up here, actually. Uh, we'll bring it up so you can see it a little bit better. Now, it should be noted that this is not the full picture that was released to the media. Okay, this is cropped. The picture, the full picture, if you look underneath the car where the wheels are, it looks like there's an extra set, like an extra tire that shouldn't be there. So it looks like there could have been some editing to this photograph. You see four wheels and then it looks like you see a fifth wheel, which is bizarre, you know, <laughs> to say the least. Now, March 10th, UK Mother's Day. This is where it really, really starts getting weird. And I'm sure you've all seen the pictures on March 10, which is UK's Mother's Day. A photo was posted to the Prince and Princess of Wales official Instagram account of Kate and her three children. The photo is said to be taken by William. So they're saying he took the picture the week of March 4th, but people started to notice that that could not possibly be the case. Later that day, after the photo was picked apart on social media, the Associated Press, highest organization, quote unquote, for journalistic standards, according to whom I would ask, like themselves, uh, but anyways, they put out a kill notice to every news organization to not use the image because it had been, quote, manipulated by the source. Getty Images and other organizations soon followed suit and removed the photo from their database. AP, Getty, etc. do not issue kill notices for photoshopped images. They're claiming an original picture essentially does not exist that the photo has been completely doctored. Kensington Palace refuses to comment on the photo, and they did not release the original. Um, this is the picture here that was posted, and it is super, super creepy. We will bring it up, but what they're saying, because from what I understand, they asked for the original photograph just to clear up any of the issues, right? Okay, say she did because Kate and an account claiming to be Kate publicly addressed it saying she's an amateur photographer and likes to play around with editing. So from what I understand, they requested the original picture, which if that had been provided, we could have seen what edits were made, what the original picture looked like. It, they could at least confirm that the original picture existed and they were denied. They were told no. We're not going to give you this. So as you can see here, this is the picture. Uh, and you can see on Instagram, it says, thank you for your kind wishes and continued support over the last two months. Wishing everyone a happy Mother's Day. See the Princess of Wales 2024. Now let's go look at the, uh, let's look at this in more detail. All right. 
Um, this was the explanation after people started noticing all of the weirdness about the picture. And you don't see it until you zoom in on it, but there's a number of theories on how this was put together. Essentially, many people believe that there were pictures of the kids kind of wearing similar outfits to this that were from back in uh, maybe November of 2023, if I understand correctly. And then the picture of Kate, people think, could be a Vogue cover that she did or from a Vogue photo shoot she did in 2016. So like an amalgamation of uh, the pictures of the kids from November, picture of Kate from 2016, all kind of doctored and put together. And if that's the case, it would make sense that there was no original photograph that could be provided to the Associated Press, to Getty, uh, etc. This was the explanation after releasing that bizarre uh, image it's put out under her account, um, or their joint account, but it's allegedly from her. Like many amateur photographers, I do occasionally experiment with editing. I wanted to express my apologies for any confusion the family photograph we shared yesterday caused. I hope everyone celebrating had a very happy Mother's Day. See. And so... Uh, this, of course, starts blowing up all over the internet. Global News Director um, for AFP, one of the world's biggest uh, news agencies, tells BBC Kensington Palace is no longer considered a, quote, trusted source, unquote. So I don't know about you, but I feel like that's kind of a big deal. If they're saying they're no longer considered a trusted source, I would presume that means moving forward in the future, anything coming from them will not be trusted. That's kind of a big deal. So this starts, it ignites the, the firestorm of where is Kate? Where is Kate Middleton? Everyone is asking this question. Show us signs of life. Let us know that she is really alive. And um, memes start coming out, right, uh, of this. You know, the you can't go to sleep. You're trying to go to sleep, but you, you've got to start looking online for where is Kate? Like, where is this woman? Has anyone seen her? Uh, it's just, it's so weird. We've got the Seinfeld meme. We've got the weird picture, and it's it's them on the moon, right? Like, because the moon landing was also totally legitimate. Nothing, nothing odd about that, right? Nothing to suggest anything was doctored or manipulated in any way, shape, or form. But just look at the creepiness of this. There are 16 different things that have been pointed out. Um, and you can look at all that evidence yourself. It is all over the internet. The most obvious is the boy's bizarrely twisted fingers, uh, the daughter's skirt jutting out, uh, the hands of um, her son uh, wrapped around her. It's just, the whole thing is so weird. The windows, the stones, um, very, very bizarre. Kate. Nope, sorry, haven't seen her. You know, like, where is she? Uh, the Gone Girl meme, shout out to uh, Torquin Helmet. I think that's how you say your name, who uh, made that and put that together. Then we had the Daily Mail. Uh, if the royal family is not quite at the 11th hour, it is perilously close. So saying that things are looking bad for the royal family. So continuing on, getting back to the timeline, you can see the kill notification. Clients, please be advised that the following story has been killed and should no longer be used. Now, going back to March 10, the UK Mother's Day, on the 11th, the tweet that we just read was released like many amateur photographers, quote unquote. This seemingly throws Kate under the bus and blames her for the backlash that ensued from the obviously completely fabricated image. Later on March 11th, another car image is released showing the prince and princess in a car. Kate is said to be going to a doctor's appointment and William to an event. It is rumored this is also a fake photograph. So there's... There's a timeline here that is important to consider, and this is the image 
we'll go into a i'll show you some of a, a bigger version of that and what people have noticed about that image but it's like they just get in trouble for putting out a completely fabricated very obviously and very badly manipulated image and the response instead of to have her simply you know they could just record a video of her just hopping on zoom saying i'm here everything is okay i am alive even if she is recovering i understand that people want and should expect to have some privacy like i certainly if i had some major surgery would not want to be recording a video it's not if she had abdominal surgery though like i don't see why we couldn't just see her face like from here up it's not like she has to show us everything and tell us all of the details i think people would be fine with like a 10 second video of proof of life that we know that this woman is actually alive and so uh let's get into the car picture so again here is that picture and there are there's some it's kind of strange because what what strikes me about this too are, are the, these car pictures the one of her and her mother that image is very grainy it had the extra wheel um but also it kate it doesn't appear to look like kate it looks a little bit different it, people are saying she lo it looks more like her sister pippa than it does kate people have noticed uh you don't really see her mole in the picture and that's i mean angles lighting can affect stuff like that so i it's the mole thing doesn't stand out that much to me what stands out more is the fact that we all know how paparazzi is if they want to get pictures of somebody they're snapping tons of pictures they don't care what you look like they're not trying to get a good angle for you why do we just get one pic like oh she was spotted in a car with her mother oh and they only got one picture does that make sense to you they didn't snap a bunch of pictures as the car drove down the street so we could see the image from different angles there's just the one weird grainy image and it's the same with this the guy who says he took this picture you didn't take any others you literally just walked up snapped one picture and that was it you know is there more um so people have noticed the bricks that's the most prominent thing uh i don't i'm not an expert on photo manipulation by any means but people have uh circled here where they notice what appears to be what could be manipulation of the image they're claiming that they didn't manipulate it except to uh to mess with the lighting right or the saturation of the image so you could see better um however people are saying that it just doesn't doesn't seem to line up um and then the when people have changed the saturation and looked at the picture of her of what's supposed to be Catherine uh people are suggesting that it kind of looks similar to an older photograph of her where she was wearing sort of the same seemingly same hairstyle maybe same earrings same hat uh if not just slightly different and it you have to admit that looks suspicious does it not okay come on that is weird when you look at that evidence it, it does kind of look questionable i'm not saying we know for sure if that image is manipulated in any way i'm saying it's questionable now who's also not to suggest they just had somebody in there that looked like kate middleton you don't think they have stand-ins or like body doubles at times uh i think that that's not beyond the realm of possibility i think it's quite possible that they could stage something like this with a kate look-alike or something with her head turned so you're not really seeing the face you're just seeing the side profile there uh with a a, a hairstyle that would be similar to something we would know her to wear i just find it strange all right so going back here to the timeline so now we're we're moving on to right after the uk mother's day in that's just uh you know like eight days ago after the internet and mainstream media blows up we start seeing other articles claiming kate wants to step away from royal duties will is nervous kate is not prepared to be queen or that william is frustrated with kate's recovery 
We also start to see more articles on Rose, William's alleged mistress of a number of years and Kate's former friend. There have been rumors for years about Rose, but the British, British press has never reported it. Now, one thing I will say on that topic of these rumors of an alleged affair, we don't know what the original source of the rumors are, but they may be tied to people who uh, perhaps had their own scandals at the time and wanted to deflect from that. Maybe Meghan Markle, Prince Harry, you guys know that they completely left the royal family and that there's obviously a big rift between Harry and William. Uh, Prince Harry has suggested that William attacked him at some point, like physically. Um, so that's kind of weird. It, it could just be that listen, like rumors get spread, gossip happens. I've never seen any evidence that this affair happened, but I also would not be shocked by it knowing what we do know about the royal family and their associates. Like, what do we know about Lord Mountbatten? What do we know about Jimmy Savile? Mr. Jeffrey? Come on, guys. Okay, so coming back to this, uh, the fact that the British media is starting to report on Rose means the royal family has lost their stronghold over the press, or the royal family is starting to plant seeds for a divorce announcement. I don't know that that would be the case. Uh, when Charles and Diana were going through their rough patches, there, were const there was constant chatter about Camilla, along with claims that Diana was crazy, unstable, etc. Are we starting to see that? with we are starting to see that with William which is very scary speaking of Diana let's not forget what she said right in a letter uh, she talked about and kind of predicted a year before her quote tragic accident that a car accident would happen there would be brake failure or something like that and we all know what happened there uh, and, like, come on, guys, birds of a feather. Right? Right? This is weird. Is it not? All right. Continuing. Other things to note. On January 9th of 2024, Kensington Palace doesn't make a social media post for Kate's birthday. That is a bit strange, is it not? February 27, Buckingham Palace, so not the same as Kensington Palace, Buckingham Palace announces the death of Thomas Kingston. Kingston was a member of the extended royal family. Royal experts noted it was quite odd that multiple media outlets reported that William's departure from the memorial service was not connected to Kingston's death. That is a bit strange. Now, there are, there are theories going around that Kate Middleton was having an affair with this gentleman. I don't I don't know that there's any evidence to suggest that is true. Um, we know her sister dated this guy. Pippa dated him. And I think he and Kate remained and remained friends. But, and again, I don't follow all of the royal gossip. I don't pay attention to this stuff. So, like, I'm not out there actively reading gossip and rumors. So, if this is something that is, like, a long-standing rumor, I'm completely unaware of it. Uh, March 1st, William ignores a question about his wife's health. The question was asked during an official event in Wales. The news, however, isn't reported until March 4th, three days later. Then the next day, March 5th, Kate's uncle speaks out against conspiracy theories. Quote, there's a reason why the royal family is not talking about it, and they are giving her a little bit of space said Kate's uncle, Gary Goldsmith, a contestant on the reality show Celebrity Big Brother. That's kind of weird. The family moved from their normal house to a house in the countryside at Sangringham. For Kate's recovery, the kids have not been seen, and we don't know if they are going to school, etc. Multiple theories here that she has passed away. She, the theory is that she's in a medically induced coma. Now, from what I understand, that is coming from the Spanish press. And I do know that Kate and William had a Spanish nanny, I believe. So that could be the source from that. 
But in any case, it's just something to note that that's what the Spanish press has been reporting, that she was in a medically induced coma. We, we don't know what that would be from. There are rumors she is in rehab for an ED, uh, which she was hospitalized for on December 28. I do not know that that's true. I do know that she's always been very, very skinny. Uh, but there's also, you know, speculation that she could have something like Crohn's disease uh, that would maybe cause that could be an explanation for that. There's theories that Prince William attacked her in the same way he did uh, his brother, which is why she was in the hospital. I, I'm, I'm sorry, but I just kind of doubt that because he knows the position he's in. Uh, I don't really see... Him. And then if he did, like, to the point where she's still... No one can see her. I, I don't know about that. That doesn't seem that plausible to me. It sounds a little weird. Uh, the Another theory is that they're getting divorced. There's a theory that she had a mental breakdown because she knows she will be a queen a lot sooner than expected due to Charles' cancer. I doubt that because she's been basically preparing for it her entire life. She did actually have surgery and is simply recovering. That's also That could also be the case. Um, why is this a big deal? The royal family thrives on popularity to keep their status. They need to have the full trust of the public in the world. That trust has seemingly been broken with the Photoshop issue and the fact that they're being sketchy about it makes things worse. If the people of England cannot trust the monarchy, they have no use for them. It calls into question everything that the palace will release going forward which makes the public question everything they've been told. It's also showing cracks in the foundation since the queen passed away. They cannot keep their stories straight and are making mistakes all over the place. People are genuinely concerned for Kate's well-being after Diana. Mm-hmm. Everyone is on guard and wants to ensure their princess is okay. People on online are fearful William has something to do with her being missing and fear that history could be repeating itself. So, uh, I think that that's fair. Uh, there's links here um, with more information, uh, which, I, so I found that very helpful. Now, the the cut has reported on the rumors about Rose Hanbury, and uh, this is uh, from just three days ago. Who is Rose Hanbury? Why Kate Middleton can't escape her? Kate Middleton made her last public appearance on Christmas Day last year before disappearing from view for a, quote, planned abdominal surgery. I like how they put that in quotations like, nobody believes that story. Uh, in, in January, since then, all manner of conspiracy theories about the Princess of Wales' whereabouts and at least one doctored photo have been whispered in the British tabloids and screamed annoyingly on TikTok. Where is Kate? Why did she disappear? Really, could it be because William had an affair? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, the events of the last few weeks prove Kate will never escape one of the silliest names in all of British nobility, the Marchioness of Chumley. <laughs> I don't even know if I'm pronouncing that title right. I probably am not, but it is what it is, you know. Born Rose Hanbury, the 40-year-old former model has been rumored to be William's mistress for the last five years. What? I didn't know that. Who is she? Why is everyone suddenly talking about her again? Well, I will say to you, before we get into this, like, I, some of the stuff out there is weird. You guys have some problems, okay? The, the you-know-what rumors, I have it in here, I'll bring it up, but you guys are strange. Some of y'all come up with, like, the weirdest stuff. You'll see. <laughs> I'll see what I mean when we get to it. The story begins, like all the best royal rumors, with an oblique story in the British tabloids. In 2019, The Sun reported Kate had fallen out with one of her closest friends, Rose Henbury, for unknown reasons. Like, does anyone trust The Sun? No. There's even more reason not to trust them, which I'll show you uh, in a minute, which is what they've just recently reported. Um, I think yesterday or today... Hanbury, who looks not unlike Kate herself, I don't see any 
similarities to their appearances, literally, except the fact that they both have brown hair and are thin, but they don't look alike at all to me. She is uh, married to David Rock Savage, 63, the Marquess of Chumley. The couple lives in the storied Hewton Hall in Norfolk with their three children. The home is just four miles down the road from Will and Kate's country retreat. Anne Mer Hall and the couples reportedly socialize in an elite country circle in Norfolk called the Turnip Toffs. What? Uh, the Sun reports Kate allegedly decided to phase out Rose from the circle for mysterious reasons. Quote, no one understands quite how things have come to this, a source told the tabloid at the time, referring to Rose as Kate's rural rival. Yeah. Royal sources were quick to quash the feud rumors. Royal friendly reporter Richard Kay published a story in the Daily Mail soon after claiming that, quote, I am told the rumors of a falling out between these two attractive young women are false. I can also reveal both sides have considered legal action, but because none of the reports have been able to offer any evidence about the so-called dispute and what it is, they have chosen to ignore it. Uh, really. The evidence, quote-unquote, if you could call it that, was later tweeted and deleted by British columnist Giles Corin. quote, everybody knows about the affair, darling, he wrote, shocking the British press and leading royal watchers to suspect he was talking about an affair between Will and Rose. Then the palace reportedly did threaten legal action, and the tabloids dropped the story completely. There was no follow-up reporting about the potential um, inappropriate relationship, no evidence presented other than photos of them all attending the same fancy events together, and certainly no comment from any of the involved parties. Now, if the Chumleys come up, the British tabloids refer to them simply as friends of Will and Kate. Perhaps to prove the British public that everything was just fine between them, King Charles put the Marquess front and center at his coronation last May. The king named David as his lord-in-waiting and tapped Lord Oliver, one of David and Rose's 14-year-old twin sons, as an official page of honor for the ceremony. Oliver stood right alongside Will and Kate's eldest son, Prince George, who was also a page of honor. Tatler noted at the time David had been made a permanent lord-in-waiting to King Charles, which means he will have a presence at all kinds of royal events and state functions throughout Charles' reign. Uh, there is zero evidence Kate's retreat from public life has anything to do with Rose Hanbury indeed. As we've discussed, the rumors have been around for several years now, and Kate has never addressed them, much less done anything about them. But thanks to an almost complete information vacuum created by the palace regarding Kate's well-being and whereabouts, a whole new audience of people are just discovering these rumors, so they're going all out on TikTok. Um, and so that is the, the story there. Um, now, getting back to these pictures, they were from the 28th at 6.30 p.m. Uh, and all they had to do was explain, as this person rightly points out, what was going on and not put out the bizarre, clearly manipulated images. Like, just tell us the truth about what happened this night. Who was taken under what circumstances, why, Vox is reporting on it, who is the British royal family willing to protect, Kate Gate briefly explained, uh, they attempt to get into the controversy, and uh, they have here a little podcast, you can listen to this, but they go into the timeline here, uh, a lot shorter than the timeline that we just went through, um, they talk about the the issues between uh, William and Kate and Harry and Meghan Markle. Uh, since Meghan and Harry's engagement in 2017, Kate and Meghan have been used as each other's foils in the press. Meghan tends to be positioned as either more progressive, glamorous, and exciting, or more whiny, demanding, and attention-seeking. Well, if the shoe fits. Kate tends to be positioned as more conservative, dowdy, and traditional, more respectable, royal, and maternal. Neither of them is allowed to exist outside the shadow of the other. I would say that's not true. I mean... They get the same kind of uh, coverage that historically all of the royal family has received. 
uh, in my opinion. Now, the New York Post puts this out three days ago. Kate Middleton's senior staffers have not seen or spoken to her and didn't know about her surgery. It is causing concern, quote unquote. It appears even Kate Middleton's senior staffers do not have knowledge of her post-recovery process. That's a bit strange. You would expect at least her employees would know what's going on with her, her, her own staff. The Princess of Wales, 42, has been recovering from planned abdominal surgery behind closed doors since January, but according to those working for her, she is nowhere to be seen. Quote, a few of Kate's senior staffers haven't been able to see or speak to her and didn't know about the surgery until it was announced, so it's caught them off guard, a source told uh, Us Weekly. The widespread speculation caused by the release of Middleton's doctored family photo last week prompted sleuths to make claims not only about Middleton's health, but also her whereabouts. According to Kensington Palace Insiders, the mom of three has only just started opening up to her inner circle about the nature of her surgery. What is more, insiders claim the princess's staffers weren't aware of the operation until after she had it. Quote, only a few people know what's really going on and they're very tight-lipped. A source told the outlet, it's confusing and causing some concern. The source added Middleton has only had a few visitors, including cancer-stricken King Charles and his wife Camilla, but is otherwise covered by a, quote, shroud of secrecy. A second source says the palace is very hush-hush about Middleton's post-op recovery. Uh, Kate said she feels she's entitled to heal and recuperate without all this frenzied speculation, an insider said, adding it was Middleton's decision to keep details of the surgery private. Neither Kate nor William think her medical records should be for public consumption. I don't think anybody is expecting that. Um, I think people just wanted literally, like, signs of life, like proof that she's alive. She's not trying to pay attention to all the rumors and gossip, and William is doing his best to shield her, but it's distressing, they added. Uh-huh. Very distressing, I bet. Well, this photo is distressing. Look at that hand! What is going on? <laughs> Uh, William, for his part, has been out and about at various engagements this week, including opening up a youth center in London and honoring his late mother at the Diana Legacy Awards Thursday night. During his speech, William did not address the mounting speculation about his wife's health. This has been a stressful time for William and Kate, but they're made of tough stuff and are weathering through, a source told the outlet. Uh-huh. Okay. Uh, the Waleses found themselves under more scrutiny this week as all photos previously issued are being placed under review by CNN, and they're no longer considered a, quote, trusted source of information. Yes, yeah, so that's a little bit odd. Now, we also heard uh, the, the day after that, uh, right, we heard that they, the British, um, the royal family is telling the British media to be ready for a major announcement at any moment. We don't know if this is going to be about Kate, if it's going to be about King Charles or what, but they did say that the BBC has reportedly been notified to watch out for an extremely important royal announcement. And uh, we, we've not got that yet. That was um, on the 16th. So, who knows what we'll get, uh, if anything. Now, The Atlantic has uh, put out an article. They say an edited photo of Kate Middleton recently inspired a slew of conspiracy theories. Quote, there's no reason to suspect that the image is fully synthetic, unquote. Uh, but in the generative AI era, any bit of media might be. Now, I find this interesting because it is sort of one angle that I'm, I'm considering that I don't know if other people have considered this. I'm sure they have, but the, how they're pushing to censor because of things like disinformation, misinformation, um, deep fakes, things like that, uh, 
it just seems like they may be using something like this and all of the speculation and things going on to say, well, we need to censor more because look how dangerous generative AI is. Now we, we call it post-truth error. You can't tell what's real and what's not, so you just have to let us tell you for you. Let us figure it out for you. Yeah. You don't need to see a fake image for it to affect your mind, Demon Beres from The Atlantic says. And let's note also that um, the current owner of The Atlantic, uh, Steve Jobs' ex-wife, was close friends with Gillen Maxwell. Hmm. Hmm. For years, experts have worried AI will produce a new disinformation crisis on the internet. Image, audio, and video generating tools allow people to rapidly create high-quality fakes to spread on social media, potentially tricking people into believing fiction is fact. But, as my colleague Charlie Warzel writes, the mere existence of this technology has a corrosive effect on reality. It doesn't take a shocking, specific incident for AI to plant doubt into countless hearts and minds. Charlie's article offers a perspective on the dust-up over an edited photograph released by Kensington Palace on Sunday of Middleton and her children. The image was immediately flagged by observers, and shortly thereafter by wire services such as the AP as suspicious, becoming the latest bit of quote-unquote evidence in a conspiratorial online discourse about Middleton's prolonged absence from the public eye. There's no reason to suspect the image is fully synthetic, but in the generative AI era, any bit of media might be. It's never been easier to collect evidence that sustains a particular worldview and build a made-up world around cognitive biases on any political or pop cultural issue. Charlie writes, it's in this environment that these new tech tools become something more than reality blurrers. They're chaos agents offering new avenues for confirmation bias, whether or not they're actually used. So they're just saying that even if it wasn't used, just the fact that it exists is creating this chaos um, and crisis, you know? So to, def you know, to protect democracy, they're going to have to censor the internet, scrub the internet altogether, and give us a new, more tightly controlled internet where the gatekeepers tell us what is true, what is not, what to think, etc. Now moving on, uh, it's getting weirder. This was put out March 7 uh, from Ellie Hall. BuzzFeed News, former Royals reporter on Middleton, Palace PR, and distrust in media. I cannot emphasize how out of character it is that a Royal press team went on the record in response to what is essentially gossip. Now, there's an editor note here. Timeline section of the story was updated on March 14 when I realized I was in no fewer than four separate group chats discussing Middleton's almost complete disappearance from public eye. I turned to Ellie Hall to help me figure things out. So, uh, you can see that this is being reported on by lots of different places. Uh, these are, just look at this. I mean, these are all the different inconsistencies of this photo. And this is from People. Experts find proof of Photoshop, obviously. I mean, come on. Now, we have the New York Times from five days ago. Kate Middleton's story is about so much more than Kate Middleton. Where is Kate Middleton? Yet another headline blared on Monday. The public speculation after her unspecified abdominal surgery, long withdrawal from appearances and dubious publicity photos has gotten so intense, reasonable people may want to roll their eyes and tune it out. But the frenzy around Catherine, Princess of Wales, raises important questions that go beyond the usual concerns of royal watchers. Those questions stem from the extreme deference in which Catherine has previously been treated in Britain, at least compared with how Meghan Markle was treated, please. On the surface, the controversy of the photo and her absence may have nothing to do with Meghan. The way it's playing out, however, in the contrast with the way the controversies play out, is rooted in how we've been conditioned by the monarchy and its allies to think about the two of them. So, basically, they're saying my racism. Like, literally. Now... 
I thought this was interesting. William claimed Princess Diana was not cognitive to understand what was happening to her and denounced everything she ever said, then demanded she be silenced forever in her last interview, never aired again. That is disturbing. Lied and used fake documents to obtain the interview with my mother. Made lurid and false claims about the royal family, which played on her fears and fueled paranoia. Displayed woeful incompetence when investigating complaints and concerns about the programme. Willful incompetence, he says. And were evasive in their reporting to the media and covered up what they knew from their internal investigation. It is my view that the deceitful way the interview was obtained substantially influenced what my mother said. So he's talking about her final interview. The final interview that she did, he said that she was essentially tricked into doing it. The interview was a major contribution to making my parents' relationship worse and has since hurt countless others. It brings indescribable sadness to know that the BBC's failures contributed significantly to her fear, paranoia and isolation. Uh, fear, paranoia, isolation. So, you know, nothing to see here, nothing suspicious happened, you know, everything is just the official story. I remember from those final years with her. But what saddens me most is that if the BBC had properly investigated the complaints and concerns first raised in 1995, my mother would have known that she had been deceived. She was failed not just by a rogue reporter, but by leaders at the BBC who looked the other way rather than asking the tough questions. Okay, so, continuing. Yeah, this picture was from March 4. Oh, so, this isn't the full one either. You can see part of, of the tire here, but if you see the full picture, it is very, very suspicious, in my opinion. Uh, this, this was a very weird. I don't want to... You can read yourself this uh the rumors about that i'm not going to say that word but it's a, a very disturbing thing that's some of the weirdness going on here and so uh they're essentially saying that you know prince william's lawyers are moving with speed to protect his mistress and remove her name from a guardian article uh okay so continuing uh this individual speculates at this point kate middleton is either refusing to participate in anything to get what she wants a divorce or a crown or she is in a mental institution or something else nothing else could explain what is going on they claim now ellie hall is addressing the story that has just come out claiming that kate has been spotted out and about she on a farm with prince william and that everything's fine nothing to see here so here is the sun and they've got a picture of her from months ago on the cover here seen out with william at a farm first public trip ends web rumors so they're really trying to shut down speculation on this and if you look at the community notes it says this post and accompanying image are misleading the photo of kate used here is from last autumn kate was not seen by any verified sources and there are no photographs of her quote-unquote public trip hello why are they still trying to claim that like why not just literally have her record an audio message if she doesn't want to do or hold a picture a picture of her holding a newspaper with the date on it okay some kind of proof of life uh, ellie says call me cynical but given how much even a grainy cell phone photo of kate would go for right now it seems pretty unbelievable that she could be out and about this weekend without at least one mercenary soul snapping a picture of her maybe people who live in windsor are protective of the Waleses and not the sort of people who would even contemplate taking a photo and selling it for money if that's the case i'm really happy that they live in that very special environment that isn't going to stop speculation or quell conspiracy theories as the kids say pics or it didn't happen so here are the sources for the sons just 
so-called breaking report, Kate Outdoors story, number one, onlookers, number two, a witness, number three, palace sources, and number four, a friend, quote unquote. Princess Kate took her first steps toward a return to official engagements with a trip to her favorite farm shop. Onlookers said she looked happy, relaxed, and healthy on the visit a mile from her cottage home in Windsor Saturday. A witness at the farm shop in Windsor said, quote, After all the rumors that had been going around, I was stunned to see them there. Kate was out shopping, and she looked happy and looked well. The kids weren't with them, but it's such a good sign she was healthy enough to pop down to the shops. Palace sources said Kate is keen to speak about her health battle, but only when she returns to frontline duties. One friend said she and William are out at their most open when out and interacting with the public. Uh, okay. Now, we're going to end it on this thread that was put out by Nanda. Uh, and it's, it was put out in Portuguese, but we're able to translate it. We're going to end it on this um, thread. I thought this was very interesting. And remember, this is being translated, so it's, it might sound a little goofy. Uh, are you, where is Kate Middleton? Are you in an induced coma? Was she, they mean D-R-U-G-G, -G, like drugged. Are you going to divorce William? Are you pregnant by a lover? <laughs> Calm. I have gathered only the theory, that, the only theory that makes sense, and they're calling it a definitive thread. So let's go through what she is suggesting here. Kate has been missing since December 2023. You must already know that. According to the palace, she had planned surgery on her abdomen and since then has not been seen. Uh, and the internet has gone crazy uh, speculating about what could be happening here. Now it continues, I've already read she and William were getting divorced, that she was admitted to a psychiatric clinic, that she was pregnant by a lover. Anyway, the internet has a lot of imagination, and the omission of the British royalty only helps fuel the most absurd gossip and rumors. Um, therefore, first of all, it's important to explain recent events through a short and quick timeline. So... Uh, Christmas Day, she attends the royal family's annual church service. She was holding hands with her children, wearing an Alexander McQueen cobalt blue dress coat. Uh, then, moving on, January 17, 2024, Kate's abdominal surgery announcement. Kensington Palace releases a statement saying, Princess of Wales has been admitted for abdominal surgery on January 16. On medical advice, she would not return to her public duties till Easter. The statement also asked for privacy, emphasizing her desire to maintain normalcy for the children. So this is some of the last time she was seen, pictures from that um, Christmas. Uh, why is it not letting me translate now? How rude. Ah. Okay, here we go. March 11, Kensington Palace released a doctored photograph of the family for Mother's Day, which caused confusion, raising more questions. The princess apologized for the confusion caused by the uh, edit, and the internet again goes crazy. Uh, until then, there were only a few memes about Kate's absence from official events, but that was it. The photo edited by the palace sent the internet into theories and rumors, but the one that makes the most sense was released by Caitlin Kiernan, who worked for, let's see, uh, tabloids and covered the royals, claiming they are all pointing in the wrong direction. She said she's worked on some cases where what was presented to the public did not match what was happening behind the scenes and that this is what is happening with uh, William and Kate. Uh, she still keeps in touch with her sources and says this is the real story. Kate had abdominal surgery and is using a medical device. This had already been reported by the Spanish press. In fact, there was a lot of gossip involving Spanish royalty, which I'm completely unfamiliar with. Normally, Kate's recovery would take 12 weeks if all went well. However, about a week and a half ago, an ambulance was called to William and Kate's residence, and this is an indication something went wrong during her recovery. 
uh, Kate was supposed to attend one of the most important royal events, Trooping the Color, a type of military parade that also celebrates uh, King Charles' birthday. However, discreetly, her name was removed from the official event website. Hmm... Remember that it was announced by the palace she would return in April and Trooping the Color only takes place in June. After that, rumors that her recovery was not going well started to explode. Um, that, yeah, it is important to mention Kate is very concerned about her self-image. She is always impeccable in shape and in the most incredible and elegant tailored clothes. She is above all a fashion icon. Yes, she does always look very nice. Um, she is highly, uh, demanding and always expected to look, uh, perfect as she represents the monarchy and is the most popular royal member. The eyes of the world have been on her since her marriage, so you can understand why she doesn't want to be seen post-surgery. There's a very old rumor in London she has an ED. In fact, this could be the reason for the surgery. If that was the case, it is understandable that they would want to give her privacy. Lady Diana has already publicly revealed she suffered from that same issue, and it is possible this caused a certain trauma in the monarchy. Things got out of hand when the photoshopped image of her with her children was released. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it, you, that's, you could say that. <clears throat> Why did the royalty allow this to happen? Now comes the interesting part. Going back to when Kate was admitted for surgery, King Charles was diagnosed with cancer in the same week. It is a very serious cancer. It was announced he discovered it early on and would undergo treatment and that he would be totally fine. However, even though he was the king, the matter cooled down and no one heard a single word about the state of his health since then, really. Uh, but a few weeks ago, when William went to give a speech at his godfather's funeral, he backed out due to a family emergency. Once again, the internet was invaded by theories and rumors about his withdrawal from the event. That same week, Camilla canceled all her royal commitments. So while we're focused on William and Kate, no one is focusing on King Charles's health situation, which is exactly what the royal family wants. They don't want the world talking about the king's poor health. If this happens, he loses the shine of being a new king and starts to be seen as someone fragile, where everyone would be following his slow and imminent end, counting down the days. Uh, even Harry abandoned the fuss with his family where, you know, they had this big split, left America and is now with his father in London. Camilla canceling all her commitments, Harry in London, William abandoning his godfather's wake. Uh, anyway, is that clear to you? Uh, so, while it is terrible what Kate is going through, uh, during this difficult time, she will recover and be okay. In fact, when she returns, she'll come back with and be even more popular. On the other hand, King Charles, and, uh, that's where they're kind of ending it. Um, so, anyways, I thought that that was a, a pretty good summary. I mean, we really have no idea what's going on. She hasn't been seen since Christmas of 2023. As far as I'm concerned, every single image that has come out since has been questionable to me. Obviously, the Mother's Day one, that speaks for itself. Uh, but these car pictures, they seem weird to me. And uh, all these different theories out there, I think that the most likely one is probably that it it's... It could be to distract from King Charles, that's possible, or maybe she is simply just recovering and doesn't feel like showing herself publicly and telling people that she's fine, which is her prerogative. But anyways, I just felt like sharing all of that with you guys because I've been really wondering myself, like, where is she? This is weird. And again, these are very sinister people. Do not forget who these people are and don't forget what happened to Diana you know what I mean all right so that's it guys that's it for today um let me know what you guys think uh about any of this what do you make of it do you think it's probably just a distraction from what's going on with the king or do you think that something more serious is going on all right have a good day